finished my blog and I wanted to take a few minutes and um, fly to Florida real quick. In fact, go to Tampa, go to Hoffman Property Management, knock on his door and uh, talk to Andrew about blogging. Um, so I'm here now and Andrew, um, what, how do you feel about blogging and why do you think it's important for your business? I know you've been doing this for a while, you have kind of different approaches to blogs, but you've tried blogging about interesting things, you've put in some vacancies on your blog, so there's a lot of experimentation going on, but how, why do you feel this is important to you to in your business? Well, Alex, you, know, you can spend hundreds of dollars a day just advertising on Google and AdWords to try and get on the first page of, of the search engines, and there's a point where in property management the profit margins are so slim and the prices are going up and up and up for AdWords that it gets to a point where it's just not worth doing it. So if you're not on the top page of Google, how are you going to get business? So we decided that what we want to do is to give away information that we've got from 25 years in the property management business, freely give it away to landlords through a blog and try and be very helpful to the landlord community in the Tampa Bay area. And we're hoping if we do that, that if there are landlords out there that decide they no longer want to manage their property themselves, that because we've freely given them information that's going to help them, that they would consider us when it comes time to making that hiring decision. Very interesting. So your, um, your, kind of, your aim at this is to put the content out there real useful for the community of customers you service, which are landlords in your case, and um, give them the information in hopes that they will actually uh, call on you when they need service. Exactly. When they do need professional property management. Exactly. Excellent. This was actually my reason number one in my recent blog when I talked about you know reasons why you should blog. But um, how do you feel about um, being personally appealing if I that's the right term, to a customer after they watched a couple of your blogs, after they read some of your material, do you feel it's easier for them to make a connection with you and, and pick you over another set of companies or, or do you, how do you think that well, affects well, well, exactly, yes. I mean, you know, we often do business with companies where we've gone to seminars that they've given where they've educated us on the industry and that's created such a good positive response with us that they gave away that information and they were willing to volunteer their time to help us that when we needed that service they were probably the first people we called and they, they always had this credibility with us because we knew they knew what they were doing to start off with. That's a very interesting concept, isn't this why partially you and I are talking? Exactly, that's why I hired you Alex. <laughs> very cool. And we wanted to learn more about social media marketing and we needed someone who was up to speed I mean, because we can't, in everything we're doing in property management, we can't be experts on social media at the same time. So why go through that learning curve ourselves when we could bring someone in knowledgeable like you to get us up that learning curve? Really appreciate this, Andrew. Really good. Um, thank you for the kind words. Um, all right. Well, then, I think you gave us some good ideas on why property managers should blog. Any advice on how to do it? if somebody wanted to take up their own blog? I would say the first step would be to hire Alex. <laughs> and, and I would say that the advice I would give would be what questions are you being asked by your potential customers when, when they are looking for someone to do property management? They're asking you certain questions that they really need to know the answers to so they can make decisions. So one of the things in the Tampa Bay area that's really ground zero for foreclosures is, ah, you know, I've just been transferred out of the Tampa Bay area, my house is worth this and my mortgage is worth this, what do I do? I can't sell it. I can short sell it, I can let it go through foreclosure or I could rent it. How do I make that decision? So we put a blog like that out there to give people information to perhaps help them make that decision. And if they decide that they want to rent, as a result of that information we put out there, we're hoping they'll give us a shot for their business. Very good answer. So let's tell, let's you and I both look at that fellow NARPA member and tell them, if you wanted to blog, dear NARPA member, 
just answer your customer questions and you'll do okay. Thank you.